our group talked about uh, multi-sectoral collaboration and coordination, uh, technical coordination and collaboration. And we, we decided to kind of make sure that we were on the same page and, and narrow the scope to not uh, really focus less on emergencies, more on development and long-term long -term, um, activities. And also to start off with not, not really discuss the merits of coordination and um, collaboration, multi-sectoral collaboration that we kind of, we've, we've all decided, I think, in the framework of the roadmap that this is an important element and we were not going to rediscuss that. And so we, we thought about this at the conception phase, the planning phase and the implementation phase. And we discussed um, successes and failures at the national level and international levels, some gaps um, in coordination and collaboration and came up with a few ideas of, of some recommendations moving forward. Um, Sorry, we jotted um, this stuff down very quickly and I'm sure I left some things out, but there was a recurring theme, particularly of lack of coordination between the health and the wash sectors. Um, there was some notion that this was less in emergencies, but also a con another opinion that it was less in development. So it's not totally clear. Um, there was specific talk about co coordination between agencies um, and I think a very important note in this coordination is that um, there's very different planning and implementation timelines. So often the wash sector versus the health sector work on, on you know, wash sector often is where we think about years, maybe even decade plans, whereas the health sector deals with on much more acute timelines. And, and so that's been a, a, a difficult place for coordination. Um, many, many countries indicated the importance of high level political leadership and, and above any single ministry so that there are people um, who all ministries reported to or respected that could kind of bring people together. Um, if things are housed at a single ministry, it's, it's quite hard to, to get other ministries to get on board. Um, and, and folks noted the importance of like selling the national control program or the national control plans, not only during the inception or the planning phase where a lot of people do bring the parties together, but also after, after it's rolled out and during the inception to continue making sure that the parties are talking. Um, I guess, so the national color control plans in general provide this forum, there's a recognition that it provides this forum for coordination and information sharing. Um, and there is disappointments from some uh, that some specific sectors are often left unfunded. I think some of those are the bigger investments, particularly in WASH where you have many more zeros and it takes a lot more time to, to fund. Um, folks discussed a shared vision of theory of change and, and M&E and how that may help bring uh, sectors, coordinate sectors a bit better so that we all expect how, how cholera control may work and align on indicators to monitor that change across the different sectors. That's often done in the NCPs in terms of, you know, you have these tables of indicators per sector, but it's not, it's often done in a way where each sector develops their own and it's not really discussed and coordinated between sectors. And there's continued recognition that cholera is linked to many other community challenges and, and perhaps bringing like education and poverty and bringing that into the dialogue continuously may help with coordination between sectors. And similarly, recognition that cholera is often an intermittent uh, disease, and it's easy for many sectors to forget about it when it's not there. And integrating with across diseases and across sectors can help make um, technical coordination across sectors more robust so that perhaps integration with di general di diarrheal disease programs can make it so that um, we can't really forget about cholera. And so we're asked to come up with three recommendations. And these were um, recommendations 
that were made by three out of like 30 of us. Um, so I think we're going to re bring this back to the group just for validation, but this is our proposed uh, recommendations. So one management of the national cholera control program above the level of a single ministry. This is sort of part of the whole idea of national cholera control plans already, but I think it was expressed so strongly across the groups that we wanted to reiterate this and make it more precise, that not just high level, but high, really above any single ministry. Um, and in terms of like thinking about indicators for following up on this next year, it could be something as simple as the number of NCPs managed by uh, super ministry authorities. Um, number two is something that I think we need to we need to discuss more, but during the development of national cholera control programs, alignment of theory of change and indicators, and the actual indicators to monitor whether these recommendations are, are in place. I, we, we need a bit more time to think about that. And three is systematic efforts to document multi-sector success stories are key to improving future, future technical collaboration and coordination. And so we hope there was a lot of discussion about having case studies over the next year to where all of the sectors are really working together um, and documenting the number of these new case studies. Even one would be great uh, over the next year would, would be one way to kind of see if these recommendations are acted upon. So thank you.